Will Pitt Theorem 3. What's up, people? Today is the day where I'm gonna try to, uh, why am I talking like this? Sounds like I'm a game show host. So yeah, the day I'm gonna try to take on Ferrum Aerospace, see what I can build, see what I can get in the air that doesn't make any sense, and see what happens. Alright, alright, so our first aircraft, as you can see here, is nothing overly complex, and it should Ferrum pretty well. Alright, whoa! <laughs> Well, that took off really quickly. Oh, wow. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, so we're going to turn on... I want to turn on my visualizations here. Whoa! You see how, see how red that got really quickly? Mine is stalling! Red! Red! <laughs> Whoops! Whoops! Whoa! Alright, alright, alright. I know how to do this. I know how to do this. I know how to do this. This is actually really easy. If you, um... Uh, if you're lucky like I am and you have an advanced SAS on here, you can win this battle. Let's go into a slight dive here. No, 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 no. Let's go into a dive. Let's go into a dive. All right. And let's uh, try to swing this back around here. Not like that. Not like that. All right. We got this. We got this. There we go. You want me to crash, but not today, my friend. Today goes to Jatwa. All right, so this craft obviously will fly. We're going to try something a bit more risque and see if I can get that in the air. All right, so here we are back, this time with the Kill Rafi 1. This airplane looks interesting. As you can see here, <laughs> it is a strange beast. But we're going to see if this can act. Will this get off the ground is the question. Uh, if it flies, well, I would be surprised. I would be very much surprised if it got off the ground. But getting off the ground is only the first step you of course have to be able to maneuver and control the aircraft so I believe most of my craft can get off the ground but not all of them are actually flight worthy which is what we'll find out here in a second well we're off the ground and you can see right now it's already starting to fight it does not want to be here it does not want to be in the air <laughs> And that's within, it, it, yes, I still have Ferrum installed. And, um, woo, woo. <laughs> I can, it's flying. I have, I have stability with it. Uh, kind of, sort of. Uh, we're going to see if we can chance a view in Vessel Viewer. And see what it shows us here. Oh, that looks so awesome. Oh, that looks so freaking awesome. I love it. Love the way that this aircraft looks. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Kill Rafi, I do apologize. That That is something from back in the days. And uh, you should definitely go and look it up. I won't go into too much explanation. I will just simply say I blew up so many of the Kill Rothy crafts and loved every last second of it. So hopefully if you catch the reference, drop me in a little uh, comment down below and let me know if you remember the good days of the Kill Rothy. But uh, we're going to see if we can turn this bird pretty dang decent. Pretty dang decent. I am very well surprised. That this thing is able to fly so well. 
I mean, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> so, I will remain to be pleasantly surprised. And uh, very happy with the results. So, I could definitely smile about this aircraft here. Alright, so right, right off the back, we are painted all sorts of colors here. <laughs> and we're going to go for that funky lift off again. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful still. It is still beautiful. And it is screaming out stall. Large scale stall. But what we're going to do here, let's close that out. We're going to swing this back. Cut off this one. Do a slight nose dive. And we should go into normal flight and be able to pull out of this. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! There we go! There we go! Even in Ferrum, it works like a dream. That is beautiful. Alright, so here we go again. We're gonna try this and see what we get. Ferrum is still installed. Uh, we had a bit of uh, trouble with a bit of crashing, but hey, that's what happens when you are designing something that is a little, let's just say, not quite sane. So we're going to get everything spinning up here. Ooh, that looks so ugly. It looks so ugly. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so that doesn't work for very much of anything. Wow. Wow! <laughs> Super Juicer is a no-go. It does not produce the required lift to even get this thing off the ground. So, that brings to mind one other that's based off of Super Juicer 9001, the Torrent. Let's see what happens there. Well, this should be interesting. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, fire these on up. Right off the back, we have an immense shaking going on. And we have absolutely no type of propulsion. That's because this won't work in Ferrum. As you can see, and all we have right now is a craft that's able to shake its way on over to nothing. So, <laughs> it's very colorful though. I can almost take this away and just go. Alright, alright, enough of that, enough of that. Alright, alright. It is very colorful, but it won't go anywhere. So, there you go. Those will not work in Ferrum. The Super Juicer and the Torrent will not work. Whereas everything else uh, will. The Karathi is probably the gem of the day. Uh, a craft that probably shouldn't have flown that looks absolutely beautiful to uh, see in the air. But for now, I'm going to get on out of here. If you like what you're seeing, drop me in the comment down below. And let me know what craft you would like for, for me to try with Inferum Aerospace uh, that I have built. Or if you want to see me build something new and try it in Inferum Aerospace, give me some ideas. Let me know what you think. And, uh, well, share this one out to your friends. And let me see some of your strange concoctions that have worked with Inferum. And I hope to catch you guys in the next video. For now, this is your boy Jatois. And I'm out. Peace. It's so beautiful! It does it again! <laughs> it didn't happen any other time in my testing.